I asked what I wanted to be when I was going to grow up, and I said zookeeper. That didn't happen. No. Well, you said whale harpooner, so... Well, I said, no, that was a joke. <laughs> I'm going to paint this front door without taking it off its hinges, and I will show you how to do that starting right now. All right, so I'm going to start prepping this door out. Uh, I do a few things uh, first, so I'm going to pull the rubber coping off, because uh, eventually we are going to have to shut this door today, and I don't want it to uh, dry into this coping. And this stuff's brand new, so it pulls out pretty easily. Uh, then the other thing I'm going to do, which I don't typically do for myself, but is something that uh, might be helpful for, for you folks at home, is I'm going to tape these hinges. Hey, baby, really this is inch and a half frog tape from SureTech, which is my favorite paint. Made, or, uh, favorite tape. Made from real frogs. <laughs> the finest frogs. No frogs were harmed during this process, except for all the frogs that jumped in the batter. <laughs> the batter? Like a frog batter. Like you're inferring they use a batter to make tape? Well, it's a liquid, and you I it suppose up. there is glue involved. Yes. All and right, so... <laughs> okay, you score it, and then it should, if you cut it good enough, come right off quite satisfying. Again, that's just for splatter, which makes it easier. And then a couple other things on the front here. Uh, I'm just gonna tape out uh, the tops of these. Uh, I'm, we're not gonna remove the lock set because we actually need uh, to shut the door and lock it, and this is the main entry door, so uh, the lock set cannot be, uh, we're not taking it off. All right, so now we are ready to paint and I'm gonna be using emerald urethane trim enamel on both sides of this door. Um, because it is a hybrid, it's rated for interior and exterior use, which is perfect for this application because the client wants this door white on both sides. And that way we're not dealing with two different products. Also, it's got a storm door, so we're kind of insulated from the weather a little bit, which is great. So uh, the pattern I like to go with um, is first, I'm gonna do the heel and I'm gonna do that right now. And the heel has the hinges on it if you uh, want to remember it that way. Smooth paint strokes. <laughs> Going from up to down. Yep, so you wanna go up and down. You don't need to overwork the paint. All right, um, because we're doing both sides of the door the same color, I'm gonna go ahead and do the toe as well. This is my pattern and how I paint doors. Doesn't have to be your pattern, but this does work. How many doors do you think you painted, Josh? More than seven. <laughs> More than seven, less than a million? Less than a million. If I'm not removing the lock set and the hardware, I'm gonna cut in all of this first and just make sure on these types of six panel doors, your strokes follow the, the grain of the doors. So on the verticals, I'm going vertical. On the horizontals, I'm going horizontal and then you'll see the pattern I do in my boxes. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do around the lock set first. It's all right, because when you put it on, it's not gonna, I'm gonna smooth out all the brush strokes once I get the cuts real close. There's probably gonna be somebody in the comments who's like, you should take out the hardware off. Well, you can do that if it's your door. In the comments, you write something really, really long. It starts getting negative. <laughs> We're just gonna write, thanks, dude. Good job. Good job. My recent one's been, you got it. You got it. All right, pretty happy with that. And now it's time to hit the gas. We wanna go fast. You ready for the speed? I wanna go fast. I'd say with these, one of the things you want to really do is try and get like really a vertical and straight as a line as you can, which there's no grain really to this door. There's like a subtle grain pattern, but not really like you see on some of the other six panel doors that we run into. So my brush strokes are kind of making the grain, but for this type of door, I think actually it looks the best uh, brushed and not like sprayed or rolled but there are dudes that are wizards with sprayers. That's just not our, it's not our bag. We're just wizards. <laughs> Pretty good with a brush. I like the broom. <laughs> it's like a brush is kind of like a small broom. Very small, very small people. Well, small feet <laughs> and legs. 
What are you talking about? Well, you were a person. You drove. You. you <laughs> whoa, whoa, if whoa, you were whoa. an actual Wait, wizard, you're, you're like you're Harry say, Potter. You're saying if you if you were the size of a person that this would be a broom. Yes. You would be small. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Really small. <laughs> or you just have short legs. <laughs> you would be so small, dude. It's a powerful brush. I don't know. <laughs> Think about the physics. All right, so we're almost done. The panels this is the last one. And then we'll start doing our bigger pieces of the door that I'm sure have a specific fancy name that I'm not aware of. Some carpenter nerd will leave that in the comments, mm -hmm. too. It's actually a flat panel or <laughs> six thing That's more. a skirt board, not a, a stringer. Board, not a stringer. <laughs> One of the mistakes I see people make a lot is they overwork the paint and they go back and forth over the same area too many times. Um, you just, you want to lay it down so that you're not getting any runs, uh, but you want to have thick enough so that it uses all of that flow and leveling agents in the paint uh, to give you a nice kind of clean finish. And then as you're doing it, if you see anything pooling, you can kind of hit any like little drips or any like heavy spots that you see. And if, I already, if I've already painted across kind of the road here, when I'm coming to here, I don't like let my brush go up into there. I just start it right, like the tip of the bristles are right there and bring it down. But down here, you can see I've kind of come into this little uh, horizontal piece. Uh, and then that way, when I come back across it, I will make this into a horizontal strip. So this is a pretty good, pretty good paint for front doors. I'd say my favorite is, um, Benjamin Moore, Moore Glow Soft Gloss is an excellent exterior paint and it looks awesome on uh, front doors. That's a, that's a go-to of ours as well. If you're trying to make your lines look straight and like even them out, if you start the brush at zero speed and just put it on, it's gonna give you a pretty harsh kind of line there. But if you start it out like already moving, that really will uh, feather it out nicely. All right, I'm just gonna kind of take a little scan -a -roo, see if there's any drips or heavy spots that I need to work out. Um, this is real common too, to get a drip on something you've pulled out. And uh, other than that, it's looking pretty good. Alrighty, the uh, first coat is dry. Uh, I'm just gonna go over it real quick with some sandpaper to see if there's any kind of grit spots that we need to sand down. I didn't see anything that troubled me too much. Just kind of looking for any kind of grit or anything in the paint. But it actually looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna do the same pattern we did uh, the first time. I'm gonna do heel, toe, um, and actually on the second go around, I'm gonna do the boxes first and then that jam, so. So I've got two coats on this front door and after looking at it for a little while, it definitely needs a third coat. There's just some uh, lighter areas kind of in the center of the door and a few other spots. So a third coat is definitely required. Uh, so same exact pattern as I did on coat number two. Um, that's pretty much it. How's your day going, Josh? I'm having a great day. Feeling pretty good? Nice. I'm happy that we got the seller agreement. That's my neighbor right there. And then now I'm going to be your neighbor soon. This guy. You just can't get rid of me. Nope. With a beard like that, you just stick around. <laughs> and our kids can grow old together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can take care of us forever and ever. <laughs> are those chickens in your backyard? Yes. Dude, my wife wanted chickens. a farm and we couldn't swing it on the first go around. There's a donkey and goats <laughs> and chickens wandering around the neighborhood. You guys know what the uh, ordinances are on yaks? I hear yak butters pretty good. They probably make a roll against yak now. <laughs> probably. I don't. I've never had yak milk. Most people don't even know what a yak is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's an undulate. Uh, no one knows an undulate is either. They like are uh, or is it? A, it might be a ruminant. Like no one a cow. Knows what a ruminant is. <laughs> Stop using these fancy <laughs> words. They have four legs. Yeah, it's got four legs. Well, they say it has four legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's less specific than a ruminant. a ruminant. I think an undulate is like a uh, He's trying to is like show a off deer. his big words that he knows. I, <laughs> you watch one YouTube video on it saying big words. We're really making some headway now yes. as the paint fumes are coursing through our veins. Yes.
All right, so the door is done, and now we just have to uh, pull some tape and reassemble a few pieces of hardware. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Um, just pull the tape off the hinges and a couple other things, and then we'll be ready to go. Hey. Okay. All right, the third coat is dry. All the hardware is back on. Tape is pulled, looking spiffy. Uh, so that is gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed uh, this type of thing, check out one of these other videos where we do something similar. And until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. I don't play video games anymore. You don't do anything fun. Nope. You just hang around with your kids. Yep. You're a good dad. Sometimes. Amazing.